Welcome back to 5 Minute Modding everyone. On this episode we're going to be going through the CLS Rebels and how to best mod them. This team is fairly old but still viable in a lot of areas of the game and may even end up being a top tier team for the new light side GOTV that's coming out next week. Most of this team is focused on damage so be sure to get your offense and crit damage mods ready as they're going to need a lot of these. So let's get started on going through this powerhouse of a team right away. So firstly we're going to talk about the team's leader Commander Luke. For him you're going to want either a speed set or a crit damage set with a crit chance set. My personal recommendation would be to go with the crit damage set as long as you can meet the minimum speed goal as his damage is a big part of the team and the crit damage set is going to increase this a lot. For his primaries you're going to want to have protection on the circle, offense on the cross, crit damage on the triangle and speed on the arrow. Moving on to secondaries for CLS you're going to want to focus mainly on speed and offense with a minimum speed goal of plus 100 from mods. We're going to want to avoid additional potency due to the way CLS lead works. In most cases it's better for the debuffs on this team to get resisted as his lead awards turn meter when this happens so try to keep this in mind through the entirety of this modding guide. Up next we have Raid Han who is pretty simple to mod overall. You're going to want a crit damage and a crit chance set on him. For the primaries you're going to want protection on the circle. You could use health if secondaries favour this more but due to the protection regen by Chewie I'm going to recommend protection here. When you put high relics into the equation though health might be a lot better. You're going to need offense on the cross, crit damage on the triangle and either speed or offense on the arrow with a personal recommendation for offense as long as you can meet the minimum speed goal. For Han's secondaries we're mostly going to be looking for offense and a little speed. As always offense percentage is a lot better than numerical offense but on mods that have offense primaries numerical offense in the secondary is the only possibility so keep this in mind. For speed you're going to want around plus 65 on him from mods Anything more than that isn't needed in most cases. You also need to make sure you have 70 to 75% crit chance in his stats. Moving on to Chewbacca. For him, we're going to want to either be using an offense or a crit damage set and a crit chance set. With my personal recommendation being offense, but either are perfectly viable and it can be situational, so look for your best secondaries when making the choice. For primaries, you're going to want protection on the circle, offense on the cross, crit damage on the triangle, and either offense or speed on the arrow. Go for offense here unless you cannot meet the minimum speed goal. For secondaries it's going to be similar to Han with the primary goal being offense with a little speed. For speed you need to aim for at least 65 to 70 speed from mods. You also need at least 50 to 55% crit chance. After that go all in on offense. Next up we're going to talk about Freepio who's going to need a speed and potency set. With him your main focus is going to be speed as he won't be directly attacking. For primaries on the circle and triangle you can go with pretty much anything that isn't based on damage and that gives you the most speed. Go for potency on the cross and speed on the arrow. For secondaries your main focus is going to be speed. Not much else matters aside from maybe a little potency as you're going to want Confuse to be sticking on the enemy team. For speed aim for at least 100 to 120 from mods and for potency aim for 100%. Finally we have old Ben. I know a lot of people use R2 but I find him more important for Jedi Ray, so I'm going to recommend old Ben as your fifth here. For him there's multiple ways to mod him but I'm going to recommend a speed set and a health set. You can run full health sets but I feel for him being fast is important due to mind tricks. I'm not recommending potency as the debuffs being resisted do award turn meter to the whole team but the debuffs are great too so it can work both ways for the most part. For primaries you're going to want health on the circle, cross and triangle and speed on the arrow. For his secondaries your main goal is going to be speed but also be sure to look out for health where possible too. You need to aim for at least plus 100 speed from mods for him. And that's all for today everyone. Hopefully you will learn some useful information for modding your CLS Rebels in this video. I've done my best to talk about the best general way to mod them but there are a few alternatives that are covered briefly on their mods. Primarily for old Ben, Chewie and CLS but I stand by my recommendations for the general usage of this team. Next time on 5 minute modding we're going to be revisiting my personal favourite team, Night Sisters. To give you all a brief overview of the intense guide I made as my very first video. As always everyone, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, leave a comment and even hop into my discord server. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all very soon.